when I um, phase back into consciousness at this point, I can feel myself, I'm lying face up on a table, I have my eyes closed and, and they are closed tight and I just am telling myself, keep your eyes closed no matter what you do, don't open your eyes. Um, and I'm trying to be calm, I'm trying to breathe, I'm trying to pay attention and I'm trying to gather data from my surroundings with my eyes closed and but I'm just so in shock I, I, I can't, nothing's coming and this is when I can feel and see through my closed eyes a bright white light. I can hear it, um, I can see it and I can feel it and what it felt like was that it started from my crown and moved down to my feet. It felt like it was scanning me and just mentally in my mind to further calm myself as well as I'm able, just say the word healing. And as I say this, I phase back into my body there in the bedroom on the bed pad. And it takes me a while, but I open my eyes. I, I can't tell if I'm still out of body or not. I don't even really know at this point that this is what's happening. This idea is coming into my mind, but I'm not grasping it yet. It's, it's just it's still too new, and I don't even know what that means. And uh, I can still feel everything from where I just was. I could tell that there was someone there present with me. It felt like more than one. Um, I could feel them still here in my room. I could hear the other sounds that I was hearing from there as well, but not in detail, so I can't tell you what these sounds were. Um, but being back in my room calms me enough to at least close my eyes, but as soon as I do, the full body gravations come on me again, and at this time I literally pass out. I phase out of consciousness and way into sleep. <laughs> so whatever happened after here, I don't know at this point. So maybe only days, maybe two, three days after the abduction scenario OBE, um, I am able to uh, just stand up and take hold <laughs> of the situation and and I decide I'm going to do it. Tonight I'm going to open my eyes and see what this is, see what's happening, see, see who really is there. Um, and I go to sleep feeling really good about this. Um, there was something that came to me by way of guidance just before I went to bed. I, I scoop up my, my, my pup, Charlie Brown, and I slide my hand under his belly and scoop him up into a, um, a belly up position in my arm, sort of like a babe. And we do this every night. <laughs> Um, and I, I walk him to the grass for our last trip to the evening. But as I'm doing this movement, as my hand slides under his belly and scoops him up into that belly up position, I can see the synchronicity of that movement with the movement that happened the night of the uh, abduction scenario, OBE. Because um, quite literally, I was being lifted up you know, the belly down position first, and then when I came to, I was laying face up on the table, and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I just, I just sort of knew, it was, it was my guide, it was Nauru, <laughs> who, who I call Nauru, and um, I'm like, is this what's happening? This is the first time that I am relating this to my yoga. Um, prior to this, I, I simply wasn't putting the two together and 
and I and I knew that I was being helped out, helped up and out by someone who loved me, just like I was doing with Charlie Brown. And I went to bed thrilled. I um I I I, I wake up the next morning and um in euphoria. Um I'm, I'm awake, it's my standard beta consciousness mind, and I am just euphoric. Everything felt so good and looked so good, and everything that I was going to do that day was sounding so good. And um, when I met my friend Dar, she looked so good and it felt so good to be there with her. It was just like everything was so perfect. There was just this calmness and this evenness and this beauty and perfection. Everything, even the Sunday traffic we hit going down into downtown Santa Monica. <laughs> just everything. Um, and this euphoric this sense of perfection kept flowering out and getting fuller and fuller to the point that when I lay down to go to bed that night, I was just in bliss. And I lay down and closed my eyes and I could see very vivid imagery uh, I could hear sounds, I could, um, uh, parts of my body were being worked with, and uh, it felt like there was a little Vichy shower, this inner rain happening inside my body in certain areas, uh, particularly in the legs and uh, brain, but mm, everywhere too. Um, so, about 12.30, my consciousness starts waking up, and as it does, it's waking up into full body vibrations coursing through, and I can mentally hear myself say, it's begun. Um, I deliberately calm myself because the vibrations are startling. It's um, when you move from a state of sleep or rest into full, intense, full body vibrations, <laughs> it is startling. Um, and this is not something that's standardly experienced, so it's new, and you really don't know what it is. But when it hits you from, from sleep just in a second, <laughs> it's uh, particularly startling. So I'm calming myself, I'm doing my elongated breathing, and as I do, I begin to feel myself being stretched. Um, and simultaneously with this feeling, I feel hands on me. They're holding my feet. Um, I'm laying on my stomach. The hands are on my feet and they're pulling my legs up and way back long. <laughs> and um, I'm clearly associating what I'm feeling to a yoga adjustment and this calms me totally because there's nothing I know more thoroughly or more enjoyably than Shavasana, <laughs> shavasana adjustment. Um, so I just totally sink in and I'm receiving this this adjustment 